Good evening and welcome to Just the News. I'm Peter Souza. These are our headlines. The Prime Minister Narendra Modi this morning announced that the central government will repeal all three of the contentious farm laws in the next session of Parliament because, as he said, the government failed to convince a section of farmers about the benefits of the legislation. The Prime Minister has said that the com a committee will be constituted as well to take decisions on making minimum support prices more effective and transparent. Remember, the farmers have been protesting against the three farm laws on, de on the Delhi borders since November last year, and even before that in the state of Punjab. There have been a total of 11 rounds of talks between the central government and farm leaders, and on none of which actually had any sort of breakthrough. According to the Samikta Kisan Morcha, 700 farmers have died in protest in the last one year. According to PTI, the Samyukta Kisan Morcha said it will decide on its future course of action during its core committee meeting on Saturday. In a statement, they said, and I quote, we hope the government won't let its announcement go to waste and go to the full length to fulfill our demands, including a law to guarantee MSP, end quote. Farm leader Rakesh Dikayat, who is the, well, one of the most recognized faces uh, leading the protest, said that the protest will continue until the laws are repealed in parliament. According to ANI, the Bharati Kisan Union leader, Rakesh Thikhayat said, and I quote, the decision seems to be an election gimmick. Given the manner in which the graph of the centre is going down, their image is getting affected. They are working under pressure of companies only to benefit them. Farmers will continue to agitate until the laws are taken back in Parliament. MSP Guarantee Act is formed. This is a victory of farmers. The victory is dedicated to more than 750 farmers who died, the tribals, workers, women who became part of this agitation. End quote. Of course, there have been many political reactions from the opposition. The Congress said it will observe a Kisan Vijay Divas across the country tomorrow in recognition of the consistent and spirited fight that the farmers put up against these flawed decisions. The Punjab Chief Minister Charanjit Singh Chani has termed the center's decision to repeal the farm laws as much delayed but a welcome step. He sought compensation for the state and for the farmers adequately for the loss of life and property during the protest. He also announced that there will be a memorial erected in Punjab in memory of the farmers who lost their life in the protest. Both the Rajasthan Chief Minister and Congress leader Priyanka Gandhi have said the centre is scared about a possible defeat in the upcoming elections and wants to rectify uh, its uh, image before the upcoming elections. <clears throat> Remember, several politicians and media houses called these farmers who were protesting anti-national, Khalistani, terrorists. They questioned their patriotism and they questioned their intelligence. These farmers were hit with water cannons in the middle of the biting cold of the Delhi winter. They were hit with lathis constantly, but they did not budge. I don't normally give you my opinion on this show, but my opinion is that this is not a gift from the government to the farmers. This is, in fact, a victory of peaceful protest and non-violence, as was taught to us by the founding parents of this country. Non-violence and peaceful protest is woven into the very fabric of our society and our democracy. This is a similar victory to what Mahatma Gandhi won for us back in 1947. Mm. It is the most difficult kind of victory there is to win. In other news, away from the farm laws, According to ANI, the Indian Met Department has issued orange alerts for Bengaluru and the Ghats in Karnataka, yellow alerts for some districts of coastal Karnataka and the North Interior Karnataka for today and for tomorrow. Remember, Bengaluru has been lashed with heavy rain for the last several days. Schools, Anganwadis and colleges were shut in Bengaluru today. At least three people have died and many others feared washed away in flash floods in the Kadapa district of Andhra Pradesh. According to officials, a breach in the Annamaya project bund caused a flash flood of the Cheriyu River and it's left some villages along its coast completely flooded. The Swamiyananda temple in Nandalur was also submerged. It's left hundreds of pilgrims stranded. The NDRF and SDRF teams are deployed in rescue operations as we speak. Nine people, including four children, were killed when their house collapsed amidst heavy rain in Tamil Nadu's Vellore district.
The Chief Minister M.K. Stalin has announced compensation of 5 lakh rupees to each of the families. According to the Met Department, Tamil Nadu and Puducherry together received 69% more rainfall than average due to the depression in the Bay of Bengal that crossed the coast of Tamil Nadu and Andhra Pradesh early this morning. A quick look at our COVID numbers. We've kept them steady, though. India reported 11,106 new COVID cases and 459 deaths over the last 24 hours. Some news coming in from across the world. The Food and Drug Administration of the United States of America has authorized Moderna and Pfizer's COVID vaccines as booster shots for all American adults. Earlier, the Center for Disease Control Prevention had authorized booster doses for people above 18, especially for those who had received the single dose of Johnson & Johnson. The World Health Organization has criticized the developed nations for rolling out the third shots when people in uh, underdeveloped countries have not received their first shot yet. All right, quick uh, update on sports this evening. Former South African uh, cricket captain, A.B. de Villiers has announced his retirement from all forms of international cricket on, uh, at the age of 37. De Villiers retired from international cricket in 2018, but he played his last professional cricket match for RCB against KKR in the IPL on the 11th of October this year. He's altogether scored 31,236 runs in over 744 matches altogether. Uh, going by the responses on Twitter, he will be deeply missed for his style. That brings us uh, to the end of this bulletin of Just the News. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, I know that we normally end with a piece of positive news today, but we started uh, with the positive news for the farmers this evening. Uh, if uh, you have any feedback for us, do leave it in the comment section. It is our pleasure to hear from you. Um, a quick uh, question to those of you who were paying close attention. What were India's COVID numbers in the last 24 hours? How many new COVID cases did we report in the last 24 hours? Leave your answer in the comment section. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you.